really just resurfacing the joint. We're, we're making the uh, end of the joint accommodate uh, a metal cap that then is placed on the uh, end of your thigh bone and the top of your shin bone. That it's got the same anatomic look about it. Uh, and in between those two metal plates or caps is a, is a piece of plastic. Uh, that basically instead of walking bone on bone, you'll be walking metal on plastic. Uh, and that's why the pain goes away. And usually people uh, ask about, well, did you take out my kneecap? Um, and the kneecap is, is, is always yours, but the back of it, we put a little piece of plastic to rub on the metal. And so essentially it's a, it's a resurfacing type procedure where we're just taking the ends of the bone uh, where the cartilage is off and replacing those with a metal cap with a piece of plastic in between. So the surgery itself takes uh, about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. It depends on exactly what's going on in the knee. And the mechanics of knee replacement surgery have really not changed dramatically over the past probably 30 years. And it doesn't mean we're not improving. I think what we're getting much better at is the recovery. And so uh, we're doing a much better job uh, with pain control after surgery and really allowing you to be functional. Uh, it's been years where I've had problems with my knees. It was difficult walking sometimes. It was very difficult on a golf course. Uh, it was difficult sleeping. And I felt that basically nothing could be done. I consulted with Dr. Hanna and he took me through various steps of what I could do and what I can't do. He took me from A to Z. He put me at ease. He uh, made me feel that this is the right thing to do at the right time, which was important to me. And to this day, I am extremely happy what took place on both knees. To be honest, it was actually less painful post-op than I was anticipating. You know, I was kind of geared up for like, you know, excruciating pain for like weeks and, and, and it wasn't. Um, it was actually pretty good. So our normal follow-up after, uh, after hip and knee replacement is uh, usually I'll see you uh, at six weeks after surgery. Seems like a long time, but if there's any trouble, you just let us know and we'll get you in the office to uh, make sure everything's okay. The therapists come out of the house uh, usually three days a week for the first uh, three weeks. Uh, for a knee, sometimes with a hip it's less because there's just less physical therapy required. Uh, but again, if there's any issues, we get you into the office. So uh, at six weeks, usually uh, if you're doing well, I'll see you in a year. Um, and if there's any issues in between now and then, we'll, uh, we'll get you back in the office. If for some reason there's something we want to keep an eye on or just make sure you're getting where you need to be, we'll bring you back usually at six uh, week intervals just to make sure everything's okay. You're going to be functional after your knee replacement. It, uh, a lot of people think they're going to be bedridden. That is absolutely not the case. We're going to get you up moving, walking the day of surgery and you'll be expected to continue to do that.